Hello, everyone. I'm Sydney Wheeler with Black Tree TV. So excited to get to talk to everyone today. Hi, Hi. Sydney. Thanks for being here. <laughs> We're excited to talk to you. Awesome, awesome. So I was a reader of the books when I was a kid and as a teenager, I watched the show and now getting to see this as an adult, like a new chapter of Pretty Little Liars. I know you guys are both childhood actors, but taking this new journey, what does it mean to be a part of this, of Original Sin? Mm. It's, it's a blessing. It's um, also a bit of a responsibility too. You know, I, we both were big fans of the original PLL. And so to be able to step into this universe feels surreal and um, you know, we want to do it justice and we want to do it right. Um, But this, this new group of girls, they are coming in with their own stories, with their own uh, levels of adversity that they're dealing with and facing together. And um, you know, I think our show has this added horror aspect to it that I think people really love, but it still keeps the integrity of what so many people were, you know, really emotionally invested in with the original. And that is the the friendship between the girls. So we're really excited. Yes. And Bailey, I wanted to ask this question to you as well. What are you most excited this season for fans to witness, to experience with you all? Uh, I'm just really excited. I mean, this show is so much of us. We spent nine months creating this show. It's very personal, um, deeply personal, this show, creating it and, and now putting it out there is, is really surreal. So I would say the journey and the ride that we went on, you know, creating this show, I'm just really excited for, for viewers to get to be a part of this community and this family that we have created. Um, I can't wait to hear the theories and the excitement. And then I also am really excited to get to represent present um, a lot of crucial conversations that that need to happen now more than ever uh, within our show. Are you watching the video? What video? The one Karen texted us. It was Karen. She called each and every one of us out. What'd you say in your text, Imogen? That's what you get for trying to steal my boyfriend. How does she expect us to respond? She doesn't. It's a mind fuck. That's all this is. It's like she's taunting us. Why though? Because she's a deranged bitch. Clearly. Should we tell someone the cops? Karen's father, you mean? Yeah, maybe let's not do that. You were friends with her, Imogen. Why is Karen doing this? Because she's insecure and toxic and not a good person. And Chandler, your character is obsessed with film. So I have to ask you, what is your personal favorite slasher film? Ooh, favorite slasher. I mean, you. I would say my favorite horror would be um, definitely just the entire Conjuring universe, but as a slasher. She oh. loves the strangers pray at night. She just thinks. <laughs> I was going to say, so good. Well, I guess Get Out is not a slasher either. There is a bit of slashing. So it's not a slasher though. But I mean, I don't, I don't even know. That's a good question. Our show. Our show is my favorite. <laughs> okay. Bailey, is that your answer too? Your show? Yeah, our show is best. <laughs> I just started, I just started Halloween though. And I'm like, that is really cutthroat and brutal. So I do love Halloween. Mm-hmm. Okay. And are there any behind the scenes fun facts that you guys can share with the fans right now? I would say that there's a lot of Easter eggs in our show. A couple of um, like we we pay homage and, you know, tributes to the OGs. So uh, definitely keep an eye out for that. There are some subtle ones and some more direct ones. So uh, just watch with a, a close eye. I would say everything our show does is very intentional and it, and it allows for the clues to, you know, to unfold. So yeah, like Chan said, just pay attention and enjoy. Okay. Well, thank you so much for your time today.